welcome to Shots of Victory. I'm Blake. And I'm Rocky. Today we'll be talking about King and Queen of the Ring, results from that, Raw, NXT, SmackDown, and then our predictions for NXT Battleground, and we'll do hot takes and our predictions of who's going to be dethroning champs. Yep. So first we'll talk about King and Queen of the Ring, Liv beats Becky to become the new champ, Sami Zayn pins Bronson Reed to retain the championship, Nia Jax pins Lyra Valkyria to become the Queen of the Ring, Gunther pins Randy, which is very controversial, and we'll get into that later, to become King of the Ring. Cody Rhodes beats Logan Paul to retain the championship. So, altogether, it was kind of a good match. It was a good Saudi show. The crowd was actually good for once, which took, which is unusual. <laughs> yeah. But first, we'll start off with Liv beats Becky to become the champ. It was a pretty good match, but I think the best part was how Dom got involved with it. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting Dom. Well, I was kind of expecting it, but I wasn't expecting him to, like, get that involved. And then there was hints at that happening, because in the pre-show, there was a little backstage segment with both of them. So you knew that something was going to happen. Yeah, you wouldn't just fly Dom all the way out there just to have that pre-show segment. Where not even half people see that. <laughs> yeah. Then we have Sammy versus, versus Bronson versus Chad Gable. Which, that kind of was obvious. Everyone knew it was just going to continue the Chad Gable heel turn. And then Branson, Bronson was just going to take the pin. Yeah, Bronson was only there to take the pin. Which, I feel like Bronson's a good wrestler. He just doesn't get a good push. I mean, he won the Andre the Giant tournament. So, I mean, he's kind of... Yeah. But it's just with the talent they have right now, it's kind of... Because yeah. I don't see him as a main event. Unless oh, he yeah. wins, like, money in the bank. Yeah. Then next, we have Nia Jax versus Lyra Valkyria. One thing I'll say, Nia Jax looks good <laughs> yeah. when it's cru- like cruisers against her. Because mm. she can actually just pick them up, throw them, be the big girl she's supposed to be, and not injuring everyone when she goes up like a Charlotte Flair who's the same size as her. Yeah. Like, if she, I mean, her only good match this year against like a um, non cruiser, I would say, is like Jade Cargill versus. She faced Jade, right? They didn't face. They had it a wait. SmackDown it, match. Yeah. It was kind of good. Or her match against B- Bianca was pretty good as well. She's had a pretty good year, honestly. Yeah, she's really shown like how she's actually improving. She's probably she's gonna win a championship by SummerSlam. Yeah, she's beating Bailey. Then we have Gunther versus Randy to become the new king of the ring. That was controversial. His shoulder was n- not, not down. down. But they're using that part of the story, so that's good. That'll probably happen at Clash of the Castle. Clash? You think that early? I'm thinking maybe Money in the Bank. Well, because they have to start the feud, and then, I don't know. It depends who wins. If they have a Randy win, it has to happen at Clash, because mm-hmm. he's going to have a heel, need a heel turn. Yeah. But if it doesn't, if it's at, um, if Gunther wins, it can happen still at Clash because then we can have Randy versus Cody at Money in the Bank where the turn can happen. Yeah. I think it should happen because then, because Gunther is big in like the Europe since he's from there, so. Yeah, NXT UK. And then from how Randy was taken from Backlash, how much they liked him, they should have him there. Yeah. Then we have Cody versus Logan, which was a good match, but. The ending was kind of... The special ring announcer. Yeah. <laughs> I LA Knight was on ringside. It was... They should have had it. Especially like, with the promo he had on Friday. He should have been the one to do it, not... It kind of felt forced when he had that promo because, like, why do you have Logan not there? Like, if you had Logan there, it would have been perfect. It didn't. It felt forced just with him bringing it up and Logan's not even there. And but also, I don't know how they're gonna ring that feud out for till SummerSlam. Cause that's, <laughs> yeah, everyone's everyone knows how at SummerSlam, yeah. unless they have like a f- triple threat. But I don't know. Yeah, um, that is it for King and Queen of the Ring. Then for Raw, which this is recorded on Sunday before the th- third and the fourth for NXT and Raw, so before June third and June fourth. So, Braun Strowman and J- Judgment Day had a segment where Braun Strowman defeated JD in a match. Well, Wait. first it was Damian Priest oh, yeah. and Drew and Gunther all talking. Because Gunther was there talking about how he won. 
talking about how he's going to dethrone whatever champ it is. Priest comes out, and then Drew. They had a little little segment together where Damien still just... He's great on the mic right now. Yeah, like, when he's a tweener like this, he is great on the mic. But when he doesn't hold a championship, he's not that good in the mic. Well, because he has more creative... Like, he can do what he wants now. Yeah, that's pretty good for his character. Then um, it was Karen Cross and New Day had a segment where Karen Cross keeps urging Xavier Woods to break off Kofi since he's holding him down, he says. Which, that would, it would be a good match, but... I don't know. If we get if they have Big E involved, then it should happen. But if he's not, then they should just stay a tag team forever. Yeah. Like, they could have... Um, Woods versus um, ex- Woods versus Kofi versus Big E at Mania. That right. would be a good match. I don't know if Big E's ever gonna come back. I don't, I don't think, think he, he would. Should. Yeah, he. Sh- I don't think he shouldn't. I don't think Unless he will. He, he should at least if he want if he could then one more match for his retirement. Match. Yeah, just one more match. Like Stone Cold had. Yeah. Then it was um, Sheamus and Ludwig had a brawl. Where um, Sheamus was went out to the ring and he was just having a promo. Then Ludwig appears on the um, Tron and Sheamus goes to go find him. Then Ludwig meets him up and, and just beats him up. While um, and they have a big brawl that goes out to the um, the stage. I really like how they're doing these new, like when they're going just in the back filming the back, which just hasn't been done in a while. And then also in the back of. Because Sheamus was doing a promo, and then the Tron showed Ludwig talking. In the background, there was a little Rock reference. So, he might be taking his return soon. Yeah. And then it was um, Chad Gable um, almost whipped Otis after Otis lost to Bronson Reed. And didn't he do the Caterpillar? Yeah. Yeah, so Otis um, was about to whip Chad, but Maxine grabbed the... um, belt and Chad just sent her out of there and he was about to do it again and Sammy's music hit Sammy comes and defends Ch- Otis well wasn't it that it was they had a, just a meeting like with all the academy yeah and then that happened yeah yeah and then so um they did pull Sammy off of Chad but they didn't beat him up I don't know when that match is gonna happen because I don't think that's a match that time should clash. It's out of money in the bank, but I don't know how they're gonna carry that, conti- continue that feud for that long. I mean, they could have Otis versus Sammy at money in, uh, at clash. But the thing is, I think Otis is on. With, well, I think what they're gonna do is, is gonna have Sammy join up with the Academy, because Gable had a little promo talking with the oh, Creed yeah. brothers. It wasn't nothing. It was just still because everyone knows that the Creed brothers are gonna join them, so they could do like a triple, like a tag team match. Yeah, so they could like do Sammy, Ch- uh, I know Sammy, um, Otis and Nakira versus the Creeds and Chad Gable. Which I don't think that'd be like the paper PLE match, but could be like the opening. Yeah, it could be like a um, pre-show match, which I'd be fine with because that'd be good. Yeah, and then um, in the main event, it was Becky versus Liv for the title in a steel cage match, where Liv retained after some interference with Dom and JD and Finn and yeah. Braun Strowman. Yeah, so the, during the whole show, Braun Strowman was trying to find J- JD and Madonna, and then, but if you also looked in the back in one of the things, you can see JD and Liv having a little conversation which then gets brought up to Priest when Andrade talks about it. Andrade? Do you mean Carlito? You mean, yeah, Carlito. <laughs> um, and then they had a kiss. Like, they kissed on the stage, and Dom didn't look like he liked it that much. But, but... the thing is, he continued <laughs> on with it. He could have pulled his head away. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he didn't like Rhea at first, but look at her now. She's his mommy. Mm-hmm. Then... Um, NXT. Well, first, oh, wait, yeah. Becky's future in the WWE. Yeah. If I think she should retire or 
go on leave for a few years to just spend time with her kid because with both parents in the WWE they're gone a lot like you're missing a lot of stuff in her kid's life Mm -hmm. where I think she wants to be a better mother I'm not saying she has to be gone for like ever just she's done everything like what more is there to do yeah I think she should be gone for like two to three years then come back and just rock the world I don't think Becky will be all elite because I mean Becky is used so well in WWE. Like, she was just a champ, so why would she leave? Yeah. And then, should we talk about NXT now? Yeah, we got that. Um, okay, so the first thing that happened was Sexy Red, um, who is a rapper, right? Yeah. Um, she showed off the NXT North American Women's Championship, which it looks pretty good. It's just like a white version of the NXT North American Championship. It still looks really good. I feel like all the new titles recently have looked good. This, uh, the men's raw tag team titles are all right. Yeah, they they look like pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> but then also, Sexy Red said she will be the guest host for NXT Battleground. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, that should be fun. Then Tatum Paxley actually tried to grab a the title from her, which might cause a feud later in the future. She and and she was Sexy Red tweeted out, "What should my finisher be called?" So maybe she does. Yeah, she could pull a bad bunny route. Yeah, but Sexy Red, there's a few tests she will not pass. <laughs> then we have Jordan Grace debuting and challenges Roxanne Perez, which I don't think anyone really thought that was going to happen. Yeah, like I heard rumors of it being Tegan Knox, but I didn't think it would actually be um, Jordan Grace because Jordan Grace is currently the TNA Knockouts Women's Champion, yeah. isn't she? And she's debuted. This is her second time appearing on WWE, so maybe we can get more TNA people. Yeah. And there's rumors that they are, so maybe we can get Joe Hendry at Clash. Maybe not. <laughs> Who knows? And you then, just gotta believe. There's also some just other stuff going on, like Drew and Moose. They're having a little feud online. Mustafa Ali, and then C- I think Cedric Alexander. Yeah. Because Cedric said he wants his t- another rematch for a title. Mm-hmm. So, maybe that happens, maybe not. I know Dijak and um, Mustafa Ali are close. Yeah, but Dijak doesn't get p- put on TV <laughs> enough. He's appeared more on Santee's channel <laughs> than on Raw. Yeah, that is true. And then at the end of the show, um, it was Trick and um, Bouncy, OG. Yeah, young OG. Yeah, young OG. Javon Evans. Mm-hmm. Versus, versus who? It was um Gallus. Oh yeah, and Sexy Red was there as well for some reason. Yeah, instead of um, Trick's girl. But then once the match ended, young OG and Sexy Red walked off, and then Lash Lash comes up talking about Trick, asking if he hurt the hurt Noam Dar, and Oraman. Yeah. And then the lights turn out, heat turn back on, someone's attacking him, no one knows who it was until it looks up and looks at the camera, it was all ego Ethan Page. I really like that because Ethan Page is, was a pretty surprising um, person, I didn't really think it would be him, I thought it would be like, I don't know, a different person like from the main roster. There's also just been no just like rumors of Ethan Page at all. But also because he has not signed a contract yet, and is still all by himself. Yeah, that's... It could be interesting. He might be able to pull Matt Cardona. But Ethan Page will probably sign. Yeah, I hope so. Then SmackDown. We had Piper Niven versus... Was it just... Um, no. It was like Nia's coronation. Mm. And then um, Bailey comes out. Piper attacks her from behind. Beats her up in the ring. Nia and Piper have a stare down, and then Piper, n- no, Nia walks off, and Piper just celebrates in the ring. Which, Piper, I'm so glad she's getting her shine right now. Mm-hmm. She's been a great, just like, even in like the Battle Royal for Rhea's title, she looked great. The Rumble, mm-hmm. she looked great. She's just been looking really good. Her and Chelsea have done some amazing work. Yeah. And I'm glad she has her title shot now to really show her off me personally i want piper to win but i don't think she will yeah i don't think she will 
And then it was Grayson Waller. No, it was Austin Theory versus Tommaso Ciampa. Yeah. Which um, Grayson Waller was talking some trash to Michael Cole, but he said, "I'm the re um, the Grayson Waller rub is the reason why Austin Theory is doing so good." And Austin Theory heard it and got distracted, which let Tommaso Ciampa roll him up for the W. This like little teases they've had, just throughout with Waller and Theory have been great. Like, but I don't know when this breakup will happen, because it's it should happen. But like, what PLE would the match be at? Because it won't be at Cl- Clash. Could happen at Money in the Bank. I don't see it though. And then SummerSlam is already too packed mm-hmm. that I don't think will happen then. So I th- I like how they're teasing it like ever so slightly because they mm-hmm. teased it back at Royal Rumble, and they teased it back at um. Now they just teased it again. And then also because they're having that when. Since Logan Paul was with like Waller and Theory, Randy had a little talk promo with them, and then mm-hmm. Waller just throws Theory in the match, and then he was just upset about that. Mm-hmm. Andrade versus Apollo happens, and which it... didn't that happen before as well? Oh no, no, that was supposed to happen, but then like, wait, it happened on Raw. Yeah, that was Andrade's like first match was against yeah. Apollo, and now his first match on SmackDown against mm-hmm. Apollo. So. Angel comes out during the match and um, tries to help him, but he really distracts him when he comes out, letting Apollo get the lead. But then Angel helps him in the end, letting him hit his finisher against Apollo. But then um, it's Legato Del Fantasma come out, and then they try to induct Andrade, but Andrade just walks right past him. Which, I don't want him to join them, but... Andrade needs to turn heel. Uh, yeah. He's not good at face, but... And um, the only person he could face as a face is Logan Paul for a championship, because... Which, that would be a good face. match, but I don't think it's so. Yeah. Then we had a great prompt segment with Kevin Owens and Paul Heyman. It was... Just shows why Paul Heyman's still one of the, if not the best, manager to ever do it. Definitely the best. Like, look at all the clients he has, except the ones that are not the big guys. Curtis CM Axel. Punk was <laughs> he's good with Punk, Brock, and now Roman, and now Solo. Technically, even with Solo, he's still been good. Like, mm-hmm. the only person he wasn't that good with was Curtis Axel and Cesaro. Yeah, but those were just like random. I don't think they were even supposed to yeah. be. Yeah, and then Paul was just warning Kevin Owens to just let him stop with the bloodline just take him out because Paul knows that the bloodline is just full of thugs right now yeah that him and Roman wouldn't let in before yeah. but just wait till Jacob comes out it's oh gonna be boy. so much worse I think once Jacob debuts is when everything will start to go down yeah um, then it was the new bloodline versus the Street Profits where the Street Profit no, the Street Profits picked up the loss in that match. Which during the promo the bloodline come out, mm-hmm. start to walk into the ring, but then the Profits roll in with Kevin. It mm-hmm. was looked so good. But then we had Chelsea Green and Piper versus Naomi and Bailey. Yeah. And, um, so Naomi was about to win, but Piper just drops on her, and then (laughs) when she was pinning Chelsea, then she just does something to Naomi, and then she throws Chelsea on her like a rag doll, and then (laughs) Chelsea gets the W. (laughs) Yeah. Then we had AJ Styles faking in retirement, and then attacks Cody Rhodes, just like Mark Henry and John Cena. Mm -hmm. I think everyone knew it was going to happen, but... Still, L.A. Knight said he had respect for him, for A.J. The O.C. was out. Really just kind of shows that A.J. is close to being done. He's... Yeah. It's... He's he's great. He's He still has it. With his match against Cody, still shows he still has it. I don't think he yeah. should retire yet, but... Did you see the crowd boot him when he said he was going to go be a phenomenal father? Yeah. <laughs> then... We should go into our 
NXT Battleground predictions. So first, it's Lash Legend versus Fallon Henley versus Meechin versus Jada Parker versus Sol Ruka versus Kenley Jordan for the Women's North American title. I want Lash to win, but I feel like it'll be Fallon Henley. Yeah, I could see Fallon Henley winning it. Honestly, I honestly thought it was going to be that new woman that the WWE signed. Yeah. Because she is, like, a really good star, and I thought they would start her in NXT. But As long as it's not Meechin, I'm okay with the results. <laughs> yeah, as long as it's not Meechin or Sol Ruka. <laughs> yeah. Then next we have Roxanne Perez versus Jordan Grace, which will be a great match. Jordan Grace is so good, but I just hope we have more TNA involvement during NXT Battleground. Mm -hmm. I think Roxanne's going to pick up the W by shenanigans, probably. It's obvious that she will, because they're not going to put an NXT title on a TNA person. I mean, they could, but not likely. If... Maybe if there were, like, more, like, connections between NXT, well, WWE and TNA. Yeah. But, um, Jordan Grace has been the only one, technically. Mm-hmm. I've, we had one two Rumbles ago, but it was also a oh, knockout yeah, champion. Oh, yeah, it was Mickie James. Yeah. And she had the championship as mm -hmm. well. So it's basically, if you have the women's knockout champion, you're in the WWE. Well, I heard that, um, that was Vince's last Rumble. I heard that yeah. it wasn't um, that he didn't even know that she was the TNA <laughs> champion, so, and he just invited her. Next, we have Obi Femi, Oba Femi, <laughs> ooh, versus Wesley and Joe Coffey. I think this is when Oba will lose the title because I mean, Oba will not be pinned. It's gonna be Wesley pinning Joe. Yeah, like Wesley is should be NXT North American champion again. I don't know how exaggerated his injury was, but from what they're saying, it, it was career ending. Like he mm -hmm. should not been back as soon as he was, if it was as bad as they said it was. Yeah, and he came back like what was it, three or four months after he it? He pulled a John Cena. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we had Axiom versus Nathan Frazier, and Nathan Frazier versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. We do not want the OC to win. If the, but the thing is, like, I don't think Axiom. And, I like them, but I don't like them together. Mm -hmm. Axiom, I want him to get called up and join the LWO. LWO. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's gonna join the LWO. I mean, yeah, I don't really like Dragon Lee. That's why. Yeah, he should replace Dragon Lee. But also, if we get Axiom, then we can get Dragon Lee Axiom together. Mm -hmm. They can be a tag team because the other LBW a tag team. Who? Cruz del Toro and Joaquin Wild. Who? Yeah, who? Then we had, <laughs> but if the OC win, I feel like they're going to win, but I don't want them to. Wasn't LWO feuding with, um, what's his name, Ridge Holland in the NXT? Probably. Ridge Holland feuded with just everyone. Ridge Holland, like, broke Joaquin Wild's hand or something? <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> And then, he, he retired and then just like two came weeks back later. Next week. <laughs> then we have the match I'm looking forward to: Shayna Baszler versus Lola Vice, an NXT Underground match. I don't like the NXT Underground matches. Isn't that the one where it's just like there's no just, ropes? <laughs> I like it was Lola Vice versus Nat, and that was good. That was I liked it. Yeah, I have Lola Vice winning because I mean, Duh. it's Lola Vice. And Shayna's not going to get a big push on NXT. Shayna's already having her push with the uh, tag teams, mm -hmm. so I don't think she needs that. Yeah, are they having a match at Clash on the probably pre-show again? I th Usually what they've do, what they done with this for like, the rest has just been just on random Raws. Oh. And then it hasn't been announced. Ethan Page does not have a contract, but either this or the next one. I think will be Trick Williams versus Ethan Page. Yeah. And then Trick will obviously win. Yeah, Trick will obviously win it. And then, do you think we should go on to our hot takes from this? Yeah, so first, I'll start off first. Okay. I think AJ Styles is in his last run. I could agree with that. I think it's his last year. Yeah. Like, from here to 2025 at this time. I think he'll retire by this time next year. 
Because, I mean, besides his heel turn, that's, like, the last thing we all want him to do. What else is there more for him to do? Money in the bank. Yeah, but who's he going to cash in? He's not cashing in on Cody. He's cashing on Dame, Damien Priest. Because, remember, him and Judgment Day have a, that had a feud. That's you. I don't know. I don't have Priest being champ, champ for that much longer. Yeah. I mean, he could cash in on in like SummerSlam against because I have Gunther winning at SummerSlam mm-hmm. if that's where they go. Yeah. I have Gunther winning so we can get Gunther versus Ilya. That is true. But that also right there doesn't need a title. It's just big enough as it is. Um. So my hot take is Baron Corbin will be the United States champion by the end of 2024 because I think that um he will face. LA Knight at Survivor Series, and he'll beat him, and that will solidify him as a top heel again, like 2019 Baron Corbin. I don't think that should happen, because LA Knight has needed a push. Mm-hmm. This has been the push we've been waiting for. It yeah. was We all thought it was going to happen at Mania last year. Didn't happen. I don't think LA Knight should have a long reign, because mm-hmm. he's good with the fans still, even after all this time. Yeah. It was a little late. They should have done it. But I get in Cleveland, Logan Paul's hometown, he'll have the, a big pop. So I think that LA Knight should not lose that soon. True. My next one is Braun Breaker shouldn't win a championship this year. I would agree with that, honestly. But um, the only tag, the title that I could see him winning is the IC title, maybe like at the very end of the year if – Chad or Sammy doesn't have someone to feud with. I don't think he should win a championship next year. I next think, year? Really? I think he should win money in the bank next year. Ooh. I think right for the next two years, he should just go around just taking people out, showing people he's the next heel, showing people because what I want is him to be the new Paul Heyman guy. Mm-hmm. Which, if that happens, Roman's in his last few years anyway, because mm-hmm. what more is there for him to do? So Wait until Roman retires. I think Braun's just going to go on a streak. Paul is going to look interested in him. Money in the bank happens. He goes under Paul. Mm-hmm. So I have an N- NFL take. I have the Green Bay Packers not making the playoffs this year. And I have it because the Lions will win the NFC North. Then we have the Bears, Rams, and Cowboys in the wild card spots, so they don't have room to make it. And honestly, I don't think the Packers made a big step up this year in um, the off season. I only see like them making a big upstep in like their f- safety department where they got Xavier McKinney. Defensively, they did good. They lost Aaron Jones, which is sad, but obtained Josh, Josh Jacobs, who's. He's my like top five running backs right now. Yeah, he's 100%. so good. But they just don't have any big receivers. Yeah, like Christian Watson, he was good for his rookie year. They, he did not do good last year. Yeah, they have good receivers that do good only in their rookie years, basically. It, but honestly, it just depends on how the Bears do. Mm-hmm. I don't know. With all the weapons they have, they have to do good, but I don't know if they will. Yeah, Rams. If they stay healthy, then yeah. But if not, then I have the Packers going. Cowboys' only weakness I see is um, their running back department. Zeke is their starting running back right now. But it's the Cowboys. They don't need anything. They're just... That is true. My next one, hot take, is the new bloodline should win tag team gold. I would agree with that. I just think it should be a little bit later, like... Um, once the lines start to crack for the um, A-Town Down Under, like once you see that they're starting to break down, then you then you have the new bloodline win. What I think it should happen is at SummerSlam, it should be the bloodline versus the A-Town Down Under. They should... The bloodline is just destroying them. Grayson Waller just walks out while Austin Theory is just getting destroyed by both. Mm-hmm. And they get, they lose, and then we get that feud with Face Waller. Wait, Face Theory. Yeah. And Heel Waller. Yeah, I don't think um, Waller can ever be a face, honestly. I mean, he could, but he'd just be like a face heel, kind of. Yeah, he'd be like the Miz. Yeah. 
speaking of the Miz, my next hot take is the Miz and Kevin Owens both need to win world titles before they retire. I would agree with that. Um, the Miz is the only one I'm skeptical about because I don't really see a big route for him making it there. But my thing is, the Miz has been so good for so many years. He has the most losses in WWE history. Mm-hmm. It has to pay off soon. Like He's been so good for so many years. Mm-hmm. So many iconic moments with like his feud with Daniel Bryan. Mm-hmm. That promo will go down one of the best promos in history. Mm-hmm. He just needs to. I think he will once hit our truth. I think he does. Yeah, and then Kevin Owens. It's the same with the Miz. He's just been so good for so many years, and Kevin has just been like on that verge of world title pictures. He's had like I think six world championship appearances in like the last four years, and he's been linked to the Bloodline for this entire time. So I could see him beating. Rock if Rock w- beats Cody, or he could beat like Solo if Solo wins it. If he beats, if Cody, if Rock beats Cody, then Cody's just done for. Yeah, like you prove nothing at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then my next one is Shinsuke Nakamura needs to win a title, a world title before he retires. It could be the World Heavyweight Championship. It could be the Undisputed Championship. He just needs to win one. I see it. he has like three years left in the company. And it would just solidify him because he has a Money in the Bank win. And he has some um, mid-card championships as well. I think he's won the IC title and the US title both. He's like, my thing is, I love Shin. He has not gone. He's gotten his main event push. Mm-hmm. I think that's done for him. I he's, just... I just think he deserves it because he is one step away from being a um, a Grand Slam champion because he's won tag gold and both of the um, mid card championships. If we were like, if it was last year, and you're asking me if he should, I would have said no because his promo skills were bad. But what they what they did with Io, letting her do her stuff, and then what they did with Shin versus Cody, mm-hmm. that was great. Yeah, letting him speak his native tongue because he doesn't speak English very well. He speaks um very well in his native language, which really helps his promos do very well. Yes, you don't understand what he's saying, but they have subtitles. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's still just perfect. Yeah, at least they aren't doing what they have him um Rey Mysterio doing, where he just speaks in Spanish, then he says the same thing yeah, in English. I don't like when they do that at all. Yeah. My last hot take is that Bailey needs to lose her title by SummerSlam. At SummerSlam, I would yeah. say. The excitement factor wasn't about Bailey's run. It was just about damage control breaking up and then mm-hmm. Bailey being EO. That was the excitement. We're gonna have good matches with Bailey. We're mm-hmm. gonna have talent that doesn't want it shine usually be shined, like with not Piper Niven mm-hmm. and Nia Jax. And Tiffany and Naomi. Those two just called up, mm-hmm. come back, whatever. Had their match. Great match. It's just Bailey's run has done everything it needed to do. Mm-hmm. And yes, it's soon, but it just needs to end. Yeah. So um, my fourth hot take is Austin Reeves isn't that really good, and he will be horrible once LeBron James leaves um, town. So he gives me like the vibes of Mo Williams, and once like LeBron leaves for like another team – that probably drafts Bronny, he'll be, like, not good, and he'll be probably a bench player. I think AR-15 is good, but I don't know. Yeah. he's He can do good when he needs to, but that's not all the time. Like, mm-hmm. when he has his time to shine, he does good, but I don't know. Just the Lakers as a whole, I think, honestly, once LeBron leaves – and if you find their person to build around, they'll do good. Mm-hmm. If that is Anthony, I mean Austin, then that's Austin. If not, if not. Yeah. Then I think Micah Parsons will win Defensive Player of the Year solely on he will have a really easy time since he's a, just a defensive lineman now, and not a linebacker. So he will be able to get more sacks, which will help him get higher numbers. And then – It'll put him higher than the other players, probably. You don't think Gable Stevenson will win? <laughs> Perhaps. And then, 
just with how Micah is now. He's like him and TJ Stroud, their connection out of the game is good. And mm-hmm. I think everyone likes that. So he'll just have a better opportunity because mm-hmm. he can connect well with the fans, connects well in the game. I think he'll win. Yeah. Yeah. Then for my 2025 Royal Rumble winners, I have it being Seth Rollins and Io Sky. I don't see it. I mean, they've been Seth just won championship gold. So did Io. I think they need to just set their time apart. Seth shouldn't win another world title for a while. Oh, I don't think he'll win at um, Mania if he wins the Royal Rumble. I just think he should have two Royal Rumble victories. I think. Whoever wins the Rumble will go for Cody. I think we could get what I think will happen. I don't want to happen. have happen is that Rock comes back, wins the Rumble. What I hope happens is that we get triple threat at Mania. Mm-hmm. Rock gets his title match that he deserves, but then we also have Roman involved in there. Ooh, Roman versus Rock versus Cody? Mm-hmm. That'd be interesting, but I feel like Cody would be like third wheeling it since we want to see Rock versus Roman. But we also want to see Rock versus Cody. That's true. And then we also want to see another Cody versus Roman. Roman. Yeah. Then um, my final one is I think a Debo Samuel will, will be a Pittsburgh Steeler by the time that the regular season starts, solely on because their only good receiver is George Pickens, and they have the dra- and they have like the capital to get. Debo Samuel and the 49ers just drafted a first round receiver and they also have Brandon Ayuk who they need to pay the thing is Ayuk has had so many like hints that he's been leaving he's gonna get traded Mm -hmm. he wants to and the 49ers just don't seem to like it at all Mm -hmm. so I don't think they'll be making any trades at all yeah so, do you want to talk about... Um, we can talk about who's dethroning who. Okay, so World Heavyweight Champion Damon Priest. I think he's beating Drew because mm-hmm. ha- it kind of got leaked because there's going to be a dark match at SmackDown against Jay versus Priest, mm-hmm. which was after Clash, so it kind of just proves that he'll lose. Mm-hmm. And then I, Gunther, the way he's getting pushed... He's going to go down as first-round Hall of Famer. Yeah. Um. So who I have is I actually I have Braun Strowman beating Damian Priest at Money in the Bank. So we get Braun Strowman versus Gunther at SummerSlam. So we can get Priest versus Finn at SummerSlam as well. Or we have Finn winning Money in the Bank that night. Mm-hmm. Then a Priest versus Strowman as the main event then we get the cash in could happen and then we that sets up that match for summer slam what between Finn and Damien yeah oh because does Finn win his cash in yeah so it would be Finn versus Gunther then oh yeah that would be then I have him losing actually then Mm -hmm. but that's also we don't know if Gunther is still gonna be what do you mean he could Randy could win. That is true. It kind of just really depends. If we don't, if we're talking of Randy winning, Finn cashing in, denying money in the bank, having a successful cash in is my prediction. Okay. If Gunther wins, then I have Gunther winning. Mm hmm. So basically, I do not have Priest walking out as SummerSlam as a champ. So, what about the undisputed WWE Championship, which the current holder is Cody Rhodes? that's it's like it just when who there's so many different people solo could be him Mm -hmm. could be rock Mm -hmm. could be someone entirely different i think it's it's just too early to tell Mm -hmm. but also we need a heel turn Mm -hmm. i really want it to be randy but i know it won't be him Because I think Randy needs to catch up with um, Flair and Cena. What we could have is Randy wins. At when? Wins, like beats Gunther. Mm -hmm. So he gets that title match as a face. Mm -hmm. We have that match. It's a great match. 
can be better. Mm-hmm. Randy, after that, starts just having starts his heel turn. Mm-hmm. He wins Rumble. Then we get okay. Cody versus Randy, mm-hmm. where Randy wins. Because that'd when be good. Would this be at at Mania. Okay. Which then leads into John Cena's comeback. Because next year he said that's he's gonna focus solely on WWE to have his final run, mm-hmm. and Randy versus Cena is his perfect career versus career match. Yeah, Cena can win, or Randy could win. Just I think it should have them just go all year. And if Cena wins, then he should vacate the title the next night. Yeah, or gets cashed in on. Yeah. I think he should have the all-time most championship, like, had. Yeah, it's him or Randy. It cannot be Flair. He's all elite. <laughs> He's great and all elite. Um, then the IC title, which the current holder is Sami Zayn. Gable. Anyone yeah. else. Like, that's it's so obvious. Mm-hmm. Um, then we have who will beat Liv. Yeah. I see Rhea. It... it Will be Rhea. Mm-hmm. And then we have Logan Paul. Well, first, let's, if we're sticking, let's stick on Raw real quick. Okay. We still have the tag titles. Yeah, tag titles. Which could be AOP. Mm-hmm. I could, see the Creed brothers. I don't know. It just depends how they're pushed with their heel turn. Mm-hmm. If they're pushed heavy, then I could see the Creed brothers doing it. Since the Creed brothers didn't, they get like a very early title match yeah I think their first like was a title match it was their first it was their second match because they were in like a qualifier or something like that which they deserve they're good so Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna complain Julius Creed is way better than Brutus though honestly everyone knows that 2k knows it that's why we had the better rating (laughs) yeah okay now we have Logan Paul Mm mhm again that's both the mid card titles, it's so obvious he's gonna win. Mm-hmm. LA Knight's gonna win at SummerSlam. Yeah, I think that's just obvious. Everyone knows that. Mm-hmm. Then who will beat Bailey? Again, another obvious. Nia, Nia. Jax. Queen Nia. <laughs> then Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. A town down under. I as I said in my hot take earlier, it'll be the bloodline. I agree. It will be the bloodline after a. A town down under collapse. And then we have who'll beat Bianca and Jade. No one. It'll just be a turn. <laughs> It'll be like Rhonda and Shayna. Yeah. I would see um who would you have beating them though? <sighs> um I could see Tiffy and Naya, but yeah. it's it wouldn't be like until a while probably. I don't have them losing until Rumble. I think that Rumble, is respectable because that match will be a mania match. Mm-hmm. But to who could be anyone? Yeah, because with them it doesn't have to be just on SmackDown; it could be on Raw. So really, just the top heel group. Mm-hmm. Whoever that is will win. And then, do you want to do NXT or no? Yeah, we have time for NXT. Okay, so um, Trick Williams. Right now, I don't know. There's just no, like, big feud set up, like, mm-hmm. hints. So, I'm going to just say Tony D'Angelo because I want him to win a title. Yeah. I mean, but, he's holding the Heritage Cup right now. <laughs> Who will beat Roxanne Perez? Again, the main problem with all the NXT titles is just... No feud set up yeah. for the future. And the Heritage Cup's... Dumb. Please take it out. <laughs> that match is terrible. Don't want to see it. Yeah, they they just start getting getting going, and then it, the rounds end. It's such a. I'd rather watch a speed match than that. Yeah. Then we have the NXT North American Championship. Wesley. Wesley. Yep. I agree. He will pin Joe Coffey. Yeah. Who will beat Roxanne Perez? I have Lola Vice. Will it be Lola Vice? Who knows? Yes. It will be. With the way she's getting pushed right now, she'll either be th- that or the North American winner. Yeah. The, so for NXT Tag Team Champion. As you said earlier, it'll be the OC. The OC? Really? Disappointing. 
I have to sadly agree as well. Because, I mean, what other tag teams will win? Mm -hmm. But, in good news, who beat the OC? I have Javon Evans, Young OG, Mr. Bouncy, and Trick Willy Wonka (laughs) dethroning them. Okay, and final thing, who do you think will be the Money in the Bank winners? I don't have an option. It's just like, really just depends what stories we're going with. Mm Mm-hmm. Jay, that's perfect for him. Mm-hmm. Makes a main event Jay Uso relevant. It makes him going to Raw, splitting up with his brother, being a solo star, actually like mean something. Because mm-hmm. if he doesn't, what was the point of splitting off? You've completed nothing mm-hmm. and just have done nothing without your brother. Mm-hmm. I agree. I think Jay's my man's money in the bank winner. But also, I can see it being AJ. Mm-hmm. I can see it being a Carmelo Hayes. <laughs> that would be incredible. I mean, it's just like just the possibilities are endless. Mm-hmm. It's it'll be good. Who wins? Yeah, women's. It's pretty predictable on that side. Either Chelsea or Tiffy. Yeah, I, Tiffy's already the main event star, so mm-hmm. she doesn't need it. With but Chelsea isn't the main event star. But also, it's Chelsea. She's I just want a mid card star for life. I just want Tiffy to have a long money in the bank winning. Yeah, like hold it, have it pink. Mm-hmm. Give her the time she needs, and be like the first one since Carmella to hold the mm-hmm. um, briefcase for more than two weeks. Yeah. So that is the podcast. We'll be back next week to talk about. NXT, Raw, SmackDown, and maybe we'll, Howdy, and, maybe AEW. We'll yeah. see what happens. And do you want to talk about Howdy's June seventeenth? We could talk about Howdy real quick. We have a little bit of time. Yeah, we have a little bit of time. Should have. We've missed so many opportunities. Backlash was the best opportunity. Backlash, Clash. Wait, we didn't. I mean, like I'm just saying, the opportunities we have. Yeah, and um, Saudi. Yeah, because. Because we're passing Clash. Everyone knows it's yeah. happening after. June 17th. Which I'm fine with. Big stars don't really pop out at mm-hmm. PLEs. Unless it's like damage control. Mm-hmm. I think it was like the last big one. Yeah. So I'm fine with that. Yeah. Who will be a part of Howdy? I have it being right now, once they debut, will be Joe Gacy. Mm-hmm. Howdy, obviously. Mm-hmm. Who? Wait, wait. I'm trying to figure out who was all talked about. It was um, Howdy, Gacy, Cross, um, Nikki Loomis. Nikki Cross. Yeah, Nikki Dexter Cross. Loomis. And, um, oh, yeah. Um, shoot, what's his name? Eric Rowan. Oh, yeah, Eric Rowan. That's who I have. Yeah, and then I could see coming, like, very later, Alexa Bliss, like, after SummerSlam. It's in SummerSlams in Cleveland, Ohio. Mm-hmm. Bailey versus Nia will be a good match, but I mean, it's just like. And then after it's that, it's just match. a match. The, that will make it the match stand out, though, because mm-hmm. it's a predictable match. Predictable matches, yes, they're good, but there's still something to spice it up. Mm-hmm. S- with what they're doing with Slam, making it two nights now, mm-hmm. they want because last year's was terrible. Yeah, they want people to think that it deserves the two nights having. A champ and then Alexis Bliss return would mm-hmm. be good. But one problem with that, she'll be on SmackDown. Yeah. And we think that Howdy's group will go to Raw, don't we? Because there's been a lot of hints to June 17th. And talks that's about Raw? the big feast that happened on June 17th. And the Statue of Liberty on the 17th. Yep. And Con Man's username being like 716, isn't it? And then, yeah. And then the most recent one. It said, I want to, I don't want to, like, there was numbers that was, like, that pointed out to 167, the mm-hmm. days, and then if you add it together, it was how many days are in a year, mm-hmm. and then the June 17th, so, yeah, it's obvious that will happen then, so just can't wait, just hope they do good, yeah, hope they get treated right, just hope they're not, like, retribution, Hope they get a new th- good theme. Yeah. Which, honestly, I don't even know what that theme should be. Death Rebel's gonna mess it up so bad. They could <laughs> keep it the Fiends theme, which uh, I'd like. Yeah. 
they could just make it like something ominous. Mm-hmm. It really depends. Yeah. But I think that is all. Okay. So we'll see you guys next week on Wednesday, and goodbye.